in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed jesus we submit to your government. We thank you for that which you are doing in our midst. Mighty things. No man can do these things except God be with him. Lord, we thank you. Lift your hands and just worship him in one minute. Glory to your name. We lift our hands and worship of Lords and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, Can God prepare a table? Hallelujah. We're going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, let your word change me. I don't just want to listen to your word as a ritual. Let it have the ability. Let it have access to my mind. Go ahead and pray. Let your word change me. If you are not changed, you are making the word of none effect. Change my mindset. Change my ideology. Transform my mind. Say na 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 mo so na na ma na 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 mo. Zire ma na na ma na 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 na. Zire re ne mo so na na ma na 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 na. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Sing it, God, in the midst of His people. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Help me worship. Emmanuel. you in the midst of your Emmanuel. people strong and breasted one Emmanuel. Emmanuel. his name is called your name is called Emmanuel. your name
Yes, Lord. You are in our midst. And we thank you. We love you for your presence. Change us. Change us. Take away the stony heart, so God. Give us a heart of flesh. Reorder our priorities. Let there be shifts in our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is called His name is called His name is called Hallelujah Hallelujah And they said is Saul also a prophet This ordinary man we know called the son of Kish what suddenly happened to him that he began to prophesy from morning till night is Saul also a prophet he said I have found my servant David and with my holy oil I have anointed him hallelujah he told Jeremiah from when you were in your mother's womb I called you I ordained you to be a prophet he said Jeremiah don't say I am small I have put my word in your mouth he will subdue kingdoms he will tear down the bible says these people will be called the repairers of the breach they will fix the broken walls and the desolations of many generations this is what god is doing there is a revolution he says i will build my church not a church not their church many people can build their church but i will build my church according to a heavenly pattern and he told moses he said ensure that you build according to pattern bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all things
breathe on me breathe on me it is the breath of the almighty that make men of understanding breathe, breathe on me breathe on me From your heart, Lord, affect my mind. Breathe on me, Lord. I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. One more time. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look. Expression of desperation.
Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Shalom, shalom, koinonia. Hey, peace be to you. When Messiah comes to take us home, may his praise be found. Shalom, Shalom, the bride of Christ. Hey, peace be to you. Now the Messiah has come to take us home. May his praise. Presence alone can convict and change that glory. <laughs> shalom, 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 coin on it. His presence comes to change. Don't doubt what you are experiencing. But in His presence, taking place in the spirit I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place I am the Lord your healer I sent my word and it healed your disease I am the Lord your healer I am the Lord the Lord is healing sick bodies right now that he led thee I am the Lord your healer I said my word and he your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in you. 
this place. Holy Spirit, how about welcome me? I tell you, the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. services through the week we are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals God is opening scrolls showing us the mysteries of the kingdom Hallelujah I'm not just singing, this is a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you hear this sound in your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. upon the wings of this sound, O oh great one. See now a shake na 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 See ne de de bo so na 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 Ride upon the wings of this sound. Yeah! May it echo in your spirit, man. When the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has changed. Thank you, Jesus. All the world is calling your name, Emmanuel. When you come to rest, this is a dimension of God that the church has lost. The meeting point between men and the presence of God, Emmanuel. And the church will see your only face, Emmanuel. When you come to reign, Hallelujah. You have won. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won.
shout for your glory. Make sure you participate in the worship. It's part of the teaching. The presence of God is heavy and mighty in this place. We everything. We everything. We everything. We will shout for your glory. This is the part of the song that I like. It. Oh, 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 Sing oh, remain the habitation of your presence oh God there is a strange wind physical wind physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place a real physical wind you will feel it start happening right now a real wind is the wind of the spirit a real physical wind physical wind blow oh great wind even as I've seen in the spirit, a real physical wind. Changing, transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For who is there? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you?
Jesus. This is what this is all about. And we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles, for the healings. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will, will worship him and give, and give a praise, praise to, to him alone. alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever. And they bow down and they sing holy. Yes, we sing holy. And we are sons and daughters. We praise you now and we cry holy. Yes, we cry. I will praise the Lamb. I will praise the Lamb of oh God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was in me. Everybody raise your voice and sing. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. No one can compare to you. Separate and sanctify. What are you for the praise? And what of your glory, God? We will bow before you and raise your voice and say, "She is so holy." Somebody worship Him. We cry, holy.
we do not take for granted what you are doing. Thank you for your presence. Lord, if this is all you do with us tonight, we are grateful. There is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bless us, oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah 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 Just whisper it to the Lord and say, I'm available. Lord, I'm available. Pray it. Turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer. You're with him alone tonight. I know we are here corporately. I'm truly available. Even if this is your first time tonight. This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. Your mortal physical body we start finding excuses as to why you are tired. It's because something is happening. Many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of God. Once you raise a worship song, you suddenly begin to feel, I'm tired. I need to, I, I'm looking for something. It's not like you're really tired, brothers and sisters. No flesh can stand in his presence. When your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence, you will become a wonder. His power can flow through you. The energy, the ability of the spirit. You don't just need a transformation of the mind. You need a total alignment. An alignment. Where something happens to you, not just in your spirit, not just in your soul, but your physical body your physical body when you bask in the glory of God I'm telling you it affects your physical body your mortal body every fiber of your cell every fiber of your blood your body comes under the influence of that cupboard that weight of his glory that's what will melt every sickness that's what will set people free 
Hallelujah. Please be seated. Good evening and God bless you. If you can, sit down. If you cannot, the meeting is already on. I love to worship and I love to praise I bow before you lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you, lifting you high. You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly, find a place and sit down. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do it without me. Mali Paradashia. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, if you're changing cities in this season. Please don't do it without me. That's always my prayer. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, as you're leading people into your glory, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. See, listen. If you take seriously the things I'm teaching you, it will shock you what you will become. It's a programming. Listen to me. What you are receiving is a programming. It's making you become something. It's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom and find expression through you. This is what God desires. Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs. Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change. The presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost. That you become a living wonder. Your physical, mortal body carries heaven hallelujah and that everywhere you go you become an envoy i did a teaching envoys of his presence you don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons brothers and sisters there are times you will need to let the presence alone speak oh
He has become our passion in this place. It pays to walk with God. It pays. God is speaking to someone here. Tonight, you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Hallelujah. There are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the Spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access tonight. Tonight, I'm going to make an altar call right now, even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we're struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you're not sure of why you're here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we're not, we're not playing games. We're really, look at me, hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we're not playing games. If you're coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made. And all that has taken my heart, Lord, I will bow, Lord, I will bow to you. Listen, Jesus said something. He said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything. Satan cometh to me. Many of us, it's not that we don't love God. This has been my message. He is not a priority. There are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention. Because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure. Who can compare to you? Great is the measure of your royalty, O oh morning star, you truly are. Listen, look at me, those of you coming out. You can win this war tonight and say, Lord, take over my life. Take over. I don't care who is watching me. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this fake life. There are many of you who are supposed to join them. You're sitting smiling and the Holy Ghost is talking to you and saying, this is serious business. Join them quickly. There are many of you outside. Lord, you are everything to me. He's my treasure, my priority. Who can compare to him? Nobody. Great is 
the measure of his royalty. Oh, morning star, you truly are everything. Listen, if that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you, you will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money. Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange. But let me tell you something. When you come for koinonia, what you see is a new culture. You don't see Yoruba culture here or Hausa culture or Igbo culture or, or another culture, South-South culture. We divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom. And in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda. Many of you believe in God. Tonight, will you submit to his government? This is the true place of power. Take me to the place. The place, the place you, you are It's the secret place That's where I want to be I tell you, you will command power and authority When you stand in that realm The place you are It's the secret place Those of you standing, can you sing it with me? Take me to the place. Come on. Take me to the place. The place you are. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. There are many of you that need to take your phone. Look at me. And send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say I've been playing with the issue of God being my priority but right now Mr. Man I mean business see let me tell you if you are ashamed of this I can guarantee you brothers and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly they went to school but they are still paying the remedy from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray! Take away every Isaac, oh God. That will not stop me from being serious. Some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross. Man Pray. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Those of you standing cry. Come on. This is between you and God. This is your koinonia tonight. Lord, I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Take it, O oh God. Take it, whatever it is. 
and mean it from your heart. Ladies, pray. Lord, take it away. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are not with them that are born again. With them that fear him. Them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. Let your Christianity last. Let your Christianity last. No mood swings with God. Kill it tonight. No mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not carry over or not Lord you are more precious than silver Lord you are more costly than gold sing it with me Lord you are more beautiful than diamond there is nothing hallelujah our time is fast spent if this is all we do tonight no problem i wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom one of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more in the kingdom you have more by losing what you have are you hearing what i'm saying it's a strange mystery. He said, whosoever loves his life will lose it. But whosoever loses it, you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself and you will get a higher one. You want wisdom, lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box and pour it on his feet. And say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor. For the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise you will never get it. A higher dimension. I pray for you. Say after me those of you standing. Lord Jesus. I mean business with you. Many of you as you are praying. The power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you. Because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for. He's been seeking you for a long time. Hallelujah. I mean business with you. I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. Every Isaac in my life that stops me from rising higher i give it tonight in the name of jesus father i pray for these ones in the name of jesus they have come because they mean business with you transform them some of them are men of god some of them are women of god some of them are great leaders some of them have seen your hand in a measure i pray in the name that is above all names help them in the name of jesus may grace to lose what you have be given to you that you will get something higher that nothing in this earth can compare with it i break every ungodly association look at me and i announce this to everybody hear me inside and outside you are not truly born again if your association does not change. I'm going to repeat it. You are not truly born again if your association, especially the association that kept you in sin, there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person. I will change him. Uh -uh. When it was time for Moses to be changed, he left Egypt and went and stayed with God, was trained 
when he had that stature, God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer. You don't stay in Egypt and get transformed. Hallelujah. There are many of us. You have three or four people. Your friends. They drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her. And you are there. You are a Christian. But you don't, you don't like it. But there's nothing that can be done about it. And then you are in the room there. You are watching. You didn't sleep with the lady. But a seed has been sown in your life. You are going to go and pray and you are thinking of all kinds of things. Your spiritual stability has been distorted. And it will take a long time for you to get back your footing. But I pray for you tonight. The hand of the Almighty is upon you. You will leave this place transformed. Please go back to your seat. Give me 15 minutes or so. And we'll be up. And then... Two meetings now, God has been interrupting what we are doing in this place. The message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again. And every time you see God stepping in like that, it's because we are entering seasons. I told us about the seasons of greatness. Like Noah, I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it. Noah kept saying something kept saying something and this is not just empty confession hallelujah grant us grace oh god in the name of the lord jesus christ can we just look at something small We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Um, for time's sake, our time is already gone. I will just pick something really, just an aspect of what I want to share. Um, and then we'll just pray. I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives. How to enforce the kingdom. Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. If you're ever caught up to heaven or the realm of the spirit, and you ever see God or angels, the proof that you truly saw God or anything divine is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got. You will come back with a lot of information, but you will come back so confused. Your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death because of the mysteries Brothers and sisters, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. I shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth. A mystery is a hidden truth. Hidden truth. Hidden truth. There are some mysteries that we have to really look at. We may not, we can't touch all of them. That's to say we are reading, we are exploring the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But there are a few mysteries we have to touch. One of it is enforcing the kingdom. Maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage. Not relationship and family talk at all. The mystery of marriage. The Bible calls it a great mystery. Ephesians. That means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage. It's not about age. 
Anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand. Hmm. He said it is given unto you to know the mysteries. So men can see, the Bible says, so that they seeing, they may not see, they can't understand. Hearing, but they will not get it. But there is a mystery. When you understand this, you must be a good husband. The mystery of marriage. When you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards, stewards, custodians, caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Enforcing the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The influence of the king. What is the kingdom? The summation of the value system, the ideologies of the king. Hallelujah. Sorry, I may have to rush. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture the king's culture that's the best way to put it a culture is the way of life of a people their way of operation reproducing the king's atmosphere reproducing the king's result forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life there are principles is a mystery. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. And he said something. Verse 6. Or let's start from verse um, chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Verse 10 says what? Okay. It says thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Three powerful words. That sum up the desires of God for men in this system. Your kingdom. Replace that word kingdom with three words, please. You may not, if you can do it, wonderful. Number one, your culture. Number two, your principles. Number three, your influence. Culture, principle, influence. Please, all of us, listen. These teachings will make us kingdom people. This is Jesus telling the people that this is the Father's desire. Because he said, that I do nothing of my own as I see my Father. Your, what's the first word now? So, let's read it. Just in your mind, just put culture there. Are you ready? One, to read. Your culture. Lord, let your culture, that way of life that makes heaven, heaven, I want it to come. That way of life, the culture of heaven, let it come. Number two, the principles of heaven. That means the formula by which heaven runs its activities. Let it be transported to this realm. Here and now. Please follow me. Number three. Your influence. What is your influence? The jurisdiction of your control. The jurisdiction of your control. Let it find expression. This is Jesus praying. This prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This and that and that. And that. All those things are just games. Jesus was saying something very serious. The Bible says the Spirit searches the mind of God. And in searching the mind of God, he said your culture, your principles, your influence, let it come. You see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign? Are you following me now? 
enforcing the kingdom what does it mean to enforce the kingdom it means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory enforcing the culture enforcing the kingdom hallelujah now this is very very important let me have somebody one lady benga come one lady can come anybody where are you from sir you are from kogi state stand here where are you from enugu thank you one yoruba person yoruba oh yeah one house house person real house or not katsina and or any of these people. oh yeah now people want to embarrass your people now now watch this you are from where oga katsina real katsina you are from ondo kogi state watch this these people represent different territories everybody say territory you must understand this i want to be very simple i'm out of time i know you you may not remember what i'm saying but you remember what i'm acting here are you getting my point this lady is from the east accustomed to the life and the culture of the east where the culture came from is not the issue is that is there now is that true are you following what i'm saying now uh -huh. this guy listen is from kogi state and there is a way there is a culture there is a life is that true this lady is a yoruba lady are you following me now there is a culture for instance if her mother were to come here you know how she's going to greet her right is that true this gentleman is from the north he and his father can go if assuming he were not a believer for instance he and his father can go to the same mat and pray and that's not disrespect in fact it's a sign of loyalty and commitment whereas in other cultures when men are sitting down women don't even come there are you getting what i'm saying so jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says when you pray if you must become true citizens of the kingdom pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing that has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression are you getting the prayer now and so he said for that to happen you must pray that your kingdom that means when you get born again as an evil lady you don't come and negotiate with god and say lord remember i'm Igbo. i gave you my heart as Igbo. so all through our walk where Igbo clashes with the kingdom you will shift for me and let's continue moving are you getting my point now the katsina person says look lord the way we do our things we are very very diplomatic about it don't bring any kingdom thing now what many believers want is that we take a culture right come into the kingdom when we come into the kingdom we now begin to enforce our culture please are you understanding what i'm saying we now begin to enforce our culture now not every aspect of culture is wrong i hope you know that but there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture and this culture was carved out by babylon this mystery that birds and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth so that when you keep practicing certain things it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life are you listening to me now so although you are born again there are still ordinances that are holding you back and because you are not ready to subscribe you are a believer but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom are you getting my point now but when you come into christ you die and let me tell you the revelation of that death to die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him that's the way of the cross are you getting my point now and when you come out from the other end you are naked the holy ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture supervised by the king himself 
not the traditional ruler in your village. That's why he himself is called the king. Many people know the savior, but they have not met the king. And let me tell you, you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king. Because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So, I come in with my culture. I even become a pastor with this culture. And we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture. Culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do. That is the reason why when in Egypt, when they came out of Egypt, that's I told you power is not enough to change people. They saw miracles. But the moment the going got tough, they said, remember that calf that Pharaoh used to build now that helped them during one war? Aaron, come and help us. Let's help ourselves here. This, maybe Moses is dead somewhere. God has killed him. You see that? Because they came out and they still brought Egypt with them. So when the going went tough, what happened? They negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people, God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says, there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life? It's a little here, a little dear, and soon your day will dawn. It's changing everything in obedience to Christ. When Jesus was walking, the Bible talks about a centurion, a captain in the army. He came to Jesus and he said, my son is about to die. And Jesus said, all right, I will come to him. He said, uh-uh, I know I'm a Jew. And I said, I mean, a Roman soldier, sorry. And according to the custom of the Romans, when, when, when they call you, you must come physically present. And he said, but I am a man under authority. Jesus had him speaking kingdom language. And Jesus said, I'm interested. Talk, I'm listening. He said, as a result of being under authority, I can tell one, go without coming physically and he will go. And tell another, come. And Jesus said, yeah, I have not found this revelation. You, a Roman soldier, who taught you this? He said, then go. If you believe this. Brothers and sisters, your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment has separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we will know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition 
and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far and when it's time to climb higher, that which she must lay down becomes too much. Can God use me? I'm a lady. All I want to do is just marry. That revelation is limiting God like the chains held the hands of Samson. Those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. They were bound. And so nothing could happen. Because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets. Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. But the Bible says when the spirit of God came, the first thing that happened was the chains melted. They became like flax so that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic. And he said, give me the jawbone of an ass. That's all I need. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours, the highest praise to the King. He has taken all the glory, He has taken all the praise, He has taken all dominion, He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch, called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred, and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot, you see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. Amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity. And they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. A time came, God said, told Abraham, look, let Lot go. What are you willing to let go? For the excellency of this new culture. Listen, the Bible says, as for the ancient part, in the kingdom there is no invention. Your creativity is useless in the kingdom. You are not left to create anything at all. Are you getting what I'm saying? As far as working with God is concerned, your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here. But as far as your work with God is concerned, your personal initiative is not necessary. The Bible says, ask for the ancient part. It didn't say create a road and tie it. Ask for it. There is already a road. Ask for it and walk. And you will find rest for your souls. In other words, refuse to ask for it and keep struggling. Following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So God desires that regardless, see, this sister can never relate with Benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom. That is greater than... The, are you getting my point? A time will come when their personal ideologies will clash. Why am I entering next week already? I don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage. And you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom, there's no such thing as family peace. Union between man and a woman. I love you, I love you. Junk. If you do not adopt this kingdom, you will... Some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west. What they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen. When I talk of culture, I don't just mean tradition. I mean your way of life. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point now? When I submit to the culture of the kingdom, if this is my wife 
and I want to stand here, and she wants to stand here, we, both of us look and say, look, we are fighting here. Where does the king want? And the king said, two of you go back. We submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom. This is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies. Let me give you one. For instance, secular music and godly music. I'm hitting somebody now. Yes, I will say it again. Delete that junk from your phone. Don't let anybody let you know that Christians are... You know, we have these ugly mindsets about Christians that they are old school. They are the ones left behind. Just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you. In the future, you will see how far we have gone. Hallelujah. A lot of people listen to all kinds of things and we laugh and we're happy not knowing that music carries a spirit. Every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart. Huh? When it writes upon your heart, it's like a spiritual slate. You begin to feed off that writing. That was the revelation that the devil was bringing to Jesus. Turn this stone into bread. There was something that was written on stone when Moses was on the mountain. He said, turn it to become bread. In other words, let that be your basis of living. And he said, no, man shall not live by this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many things that are militating us. So when we talk about this transformation, this transformation, you must align yourself. Ah, I refuse to talk about marriage this night. Please, I want peace. It's, it's till next week. Come next week prepared. Somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly, working with an ideology. He can write a wrong book. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. We we're just having some time together. Someone can be married for 50, 60 years. That's why when you see an elder who loves God and fears God, and has a great home, listen to him because he has two advantages experience and the spirit of God. There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only align some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. I don't just mean your culture in terms of village, the way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money. And they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody you will see, you now run and there's somebody stationed to deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much. And they can press for it. You need to have a degree, do this, go abroad, come back, do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit 
so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone. Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. But he gives unto his beloved sleep. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who is this one? Um, the northern and Hausa man. What are you willing to lay down? It's generally believed that northerners are, are not serious with their wives. They are less fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth and then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't just forget. We're going to talk about that next week. Praise God. See, ah, you see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. War that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer and we approach God with certain mindsets that are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God when you share a word like in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says, forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam. I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now, you say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You see that all the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Say it upon your life. The kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When the kingdom comes upon your finances. You stop running finances like heat and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody's running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon, and they were showing a good luck Jonathan. I think they went for something campaign in Equity State. Or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road. I said, but do these people really love this country? Or is it that the hunger is too much? They are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes, they can negotiate after the, the, the conference. Has the kingdom come over your finances or you are still running it the way you know? Go to school, get a job, hope to get a very great job. Wonderful. But have you, have you had the opinion of the king? Do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born? Have you been interested in subscribing to it? The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord, it didn't say wish and complain. Be serious. How do you taste food? You go and sit down in the restaurant. You sit down for as long as the food is being prepared. While he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you must sit down. And then you will taste and testify. And say, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even that of the word of life, that's what we preach. 
as the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character. Brothers and sisters, this is very important. There are many Christians without character. You can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus. You see, forget the fact that I sat down in front. Oh, you try me, I wound you. I'm not one of these guys that like looking for women. Don't think I like you. Look at this. This, this guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshipping. Now he wants to give a lady a slap. The next time somebody does like that, tell him, thy kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. When somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody, a brother just comes and says, I like your shoe. No, 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 no. I'm not this kind of people. Let me tell you something. I'm not this kind of boy. Just say, brother, just say, thy kingdom. You need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel and changed him literally? He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, he said, Me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service. But you now go back and this happens again. No, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. God is coming to you tonight and saying, how long are you willing to keep remaining at this level you have a ministry God wants to take you to a high level but your limitation there is a message you had that has refused to allow the kingdom come and you keep wondering why is this thing not working and then out of frustration you just say anybody that is doing it is fake forget it all these people rejoice Rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. When he comes to you, he walks upon your mind. When he comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe to the governing influence of the king? Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. To enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many, our lifetime will not be able to... Follow me, please. I'm trying to construct the first, um, the first way of enforcing the kingdom. The mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom. Remember I showed you the creation before Genesis 1. Remember when we're talking about what? Laws of dominion or something. I told you there was a creation before Genesis 1. Is that true? And I showed you, isn't it? How that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? 
And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit, any demon spirit, human spirit. That's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work. Because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit. But for kingdom citizens, that law must be initiated, sustained by the spirit of the Christ. That's what makes it of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can go to somebody by the riverside right now. The person will buff out all your problems. And truly, you'll find out that your problems left. Because he manipulated a law. But it so happens that if the spirit of God is not the one who initiated the process, there will still be a window left. Only the spirit of God knows the mystery to the final door of evil. Every other person will leave a signature that shows. So you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of God or of somebody and know that it's not God this person met. There was still a window. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they, had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It would never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look and know which law can keep the cloud suspended. And then in the night around two, no wind, no nothing. A heavy rain will now come. What's the compensation? There is something, of course. Remember the law of exchange. There is always a compensation. Don't let anybody fool you. You don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom. That thing is not true. If you got it free, somebody paid for it. There is always an exchange. Always. So the next time you hear that there is flooding around, don't join ignorant people to just say, wow, the climate is changing. No. No. These spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers. But when the kingdom citizens show up, like Joshua, we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of Pharaoh and drop the rod of God and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight. And we tell the sorcerers, explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size. Where did they go to? You answer mysteries with mysteries. See, let me tell you, in the days that will come, it will be a clash of mantles. Men will talk very little. Something else will be speaking. That which God trained them with is what they will use. That's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk. They just say you are, you are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to walk in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? 
because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, he would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside and those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy morning? How do you command your morning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Aye. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries. That made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man would just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could diverge they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven. The disciples saw Jesus do a lot of mystery. That's why one day they said, Jesus, let's come out fire. Jesus didn't say you cannot do it. He said, do you not know what spirit you are of? In other words, I'm showing you other mysteries. You see what Jesus kept teaching them. He didn't finish the lecture. That's why after resurrection, he kept them for 50 days, 40 days. And he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom. After that, he said, goodbye. I can leave you now. Goodness. And we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah, in Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19. When they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge so you see that it worked right for whatever reason a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things when paul looked paul could not see but he used another mystery that opened his eyes and he said uh -uh, this is not of god may god make strong men out of us not just by impartation but by knowledge you will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is the dart of evil. And you come out after 24 hours and say, it's well. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Somebody just says, I have another stomach ache. You say, it's well. I know what I saw. Three days later, the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough. You think they want you to come back home? There are some of you, they don't want you to come back home because you are, you are adding to the, the mysteries. You are not solving it. Why is it that when you come back home, things finish unusually? Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We're going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water. In heaven. But it said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor, both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit 
the water and the blood and i told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church right the the dispensation of the spirit was the charismatic age from their Susa street and all of that so people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit and then the word of faith started coming that's the dimension of the water they started teaching people accurately the things of the word and before christ comes the manifestation of the blood not as a teaching as a lifestyle because the blood represents the very life of god that's what will open the gates so gates that were shut will be opened because of certain mysteries brothers and sisters the kingdom of god seeks to find expression in your life but because there are so many mysteries for us to learn we can only touch so much listen to me there are so many it will take us a lifetime so the holy spirit identified it as a predicament in us and he said there is another mystery that will help you connect to principles that you do not know but they will work for you and then the bible starts saying for we know not how to pray he said this is the limitation are you hearing me now follow me please he said no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man so no man knows the heart of god save the spirit of god and then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer no matter how strong we have that limitation what's the limitation we know not what to pray for as we ought to that means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need but there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy he said but the spirit itself make it what this is a mystery make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered aha uh -huh. so when you begin to pray this mystery was not taught satan this is what confuses demons i hope you know satan lucifer i told us already lucifer was what like bearer he was the custodian of the revelations he thought he saw everything about god he did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden so he deceived the one third of the angels he said guys just follow me i can tell you i have every knowledge of god in my hands i can even be god right now and it will not change the system of heaven and god said really there was war in heaven god didn't even stand up from his throne it was michael michael fought him so when he came down he came down he became lower than the cherubs and all of that then that's why he looked for adam i told you the first person who was in the garden of eden was who lucifer not adam lucifer was the first person in the garden of eden he was driven out that's why when adam came it got him angry you see what satan has with men so when he collected the adamic authority at that point he became greater than all the angels second to only the trinity that was why when archangel michael came and they were fighting over the body of moses are you are you seeing it now because at that point he was higher than him he could not use that strength again so he invoked a higher power the lord rebuke you hold on are you are you getting my point now mm. when jesus was born because satan was working with adamic authority even jesus ran away for his life otherwise satan would have killed him when satan took jesus to the mountain jesus did not say satan go away no he followed him and satan said all these glories what mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once is that not a mystery where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories but he showed him at once he said it has been given to me ah, yeah. and so he said let me give you the shortcut why go and die and do all of this nonsense because he knew that there is coming another law he had seen water it was the water that parted the red sea and brought separation between egypt and israel it was the adumbration of baptism but he saw an adumbration of the blood of the lamb in egypt and because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation he started following anything that looks like blood so he said jesus this one that you have come now why just bow down to me and collect this thing 
Jesus said, no problem. I will collect it anyway. So when he met with it in hell, he said, I've come to collect it now. See? See, Jesus defeated Satan without the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had left him. He was in hell. Are you getting me? That was why after the third day, the same spirit that raised him back. That means he came back on the third day, raised by the spirit of God. And when Satan, Jesus collected the keys, stripped Satan of it. That's why in Revelation he said, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He's got it back. That's what he gave us in redemption. Seven blessings. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive. He has received unto us blessings, riches, those seven things. He gave it to us. He said, as my Father has sent me, I send you with it. But he said, hold on. Don't just run foolishly. The Holy Ghost. There are many things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. They will be needed for you to be effective. How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you. He will teach you the other part of the lessons. Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues is your lifeline out of this nonsense, this assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of, cult of worship that you hold, mic. a life of worship. Just like we did. That's why when we came, the Holy Ghost allowed us to bask in that presence. When that thing happens, the presence of God can enforce the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. One more. You enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word. Both studying it and speaking it. Not just blind religious speaking. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight. But that you say, I am blessed. Out of a depth of conviction, you enforce the kingdom. Son of man, what seest thou? Ezekiel 37. Oh, Ezekiel 37. Son of man, can these bones live again? 
He said, only thou knowest. He said, enforce it. I prophesied as I was commanded. And the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Wish so. That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it with your words. Are we, are we together? The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Let me tell you, many of you, your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit. But the system for translating it, we are there wasting time doing a lot of things. Many of our loved ones, some of you are here. You thought that, okay, by the time you get a job, it will be all right. You got a job. You found out that the salary was not enough. You prayed for promotion. As promotion came to you, all of a sudden Jericho says, that's not how we win. I'm still here, standing. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me tell you, you will watch Jericho, just like Babylon, fall before you. It's true. Listen, when you hear people testifying, huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial Jesus has come to your heart, but he must come to your life. Just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free. Potentially, you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities. But Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. This is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus. He says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit 
when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused Jericho to fall for them. They just found out that they entered cheaply. And even a dagger brought victory. So they can trivialize the existence of Jericho. Jericho is real. If you don't see it in your life, a priesthood already brought it down for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But everyone who must pass. Remember, Israel is God's own people. What is the business between Israel and Jer They had conquered other nations. What do they need the treasures? of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh Forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh.
was soon going to pray. The Lord rejects Saul as a king and now looks at David but there was no priest to confirm what God wanted. The priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king. God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David. Samuel said, no, I still want Saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter. You saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping? Seeing that I have rejected Saul as king. Rise up, carry your horn. Go to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint the next king of Israel, paraphrasing. And David remained there. I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say, when will my change come? The change was in a negotiation between God. God already intended. In God's mind, this is the next king. And the king will sit with sheep and say, oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, the day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence. If that act will not go before us, I'm not going. No. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what i'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your message endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says, all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, it's fearful. Are we together? fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a God, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances... 
that have been enshrined by occultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every chain listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain listen the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when jericho is down anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down listen i have seen anointed men and women of god people i know love god with all their heart but they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically they do everything and sometimes you wonder and say ah, look how great this brother is look how great this sister is is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it hallelujah listen people make all kinds of gifts for me as you can imagine people make all kinds of gifts and sometimes i see what people do and i'm shocked I say life is so unfair how can this brother this sister be this gifted and yet be begging and you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed they can even be sarcastic priesthood will make them take life for granted there is a system of ease that god wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow god allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him 
and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together i got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a, a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children I thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Yes. 
le prêtre Coré le Bobara et bon ce challenge ce propre le prêtre Coré le Bobara et bon ce challenge le prêtre Coré le Bobara et bon ce challenge ce propre pour le photo, 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 we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man the man jesus he qualifies to be a priest not the spirit jesus the man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the ironic priesthood the bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of melchizedek a priesthood with no beginning a priesthood with no end that there is that eternal priesthood of jesus listen carefully we are talking about very deep foundational issues here jesus the man the priest that took his blood the bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all once and for all the advocacy of that priesthood is superior listen every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior I come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness I am the light are we together I want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family I tell you the truth when we begin to pray and I begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories Cheap Amen. This is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts. Do you know, brothers and sisters? Listen, let me teach you something. For as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems, your frustration continues. I can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that ask it receive it lord visit the foundation
why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery of god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy Hallelujah. 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 Please just just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just the Lord is giving me instructions. Just just be silent. Stand where you are. Um something is happening inside, outside, everywhere. The Lord is showing me something very strange. Now, um, let me just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something that looks like um, this thing people wear. What's the name? This thing that looks like a um, lady's thing that men wear. That, that looks like a... Yes, that, that thing. That's what I'm seeing on many people. And the Lord is telling me on everyone that I see that thing in. There is a very strange deliverance because that I'm hearing hidden glory. And I want to pray. Please, you don't, don't shout, don't do anything. Just let me flow. You start bringing those people out. I'm going to pray now for those group of people. I'm seeing it. Because I'm seeing that those people, no matter what you do, your glory is never seen. You will struggle and try. But nothing ever happens. Now in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Just silence everywhere. Father, I'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy I decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head I'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go I command liberty they must go I come with the rod of a higher priesthood I decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals, but it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now, know that God is visiting your family. Lord, I pray now. I release the sword, the sword of the Lord, in the name of Jesus to every family. If there is a family here whose glory has been buried, nobody rises. Where are they? I decree and declare now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shakata Parakata. I don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, Matas Katabarata Siadabata, in the name of Jesus. I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be emancipation. Emancipation for every family. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And then we beheld his glory. The Lord is still touching people. 
the Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. The Lord is leading me to pray this prayer. I just had in my spirit altars of poverty. Hold on. Just keep your hands lifted. Father, I'm praying. You spoke to my ears. Altars of poverty. If there is any family here in an ordinance, Shekei's Katash, under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here I speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus pray now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now! Be free now! Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh. 
Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that, please? Let's let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia. Who is that? Her eyes. Her eyes. Her eyes. Your name is Sephia. How about you? Madam? The Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. Her eyes. I'll pray for all of you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver this lady now. This lady on red. I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone. For you, it's over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Set free the Lord bring liberty. Liberty now. I command those altars to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Bad luck. Bad luck. I take it out of your life. The spirit of. I'm seeing a lot of bad luck. I take it out of your life now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a lady. A physical person appeared to you in the room. This is a woman whose face you know like a relative. Physically. Where is that person please? Someone you were not dreaming. Appeared to you. And there was a conversation from that day. Your life never became the same. Please don't be ashamed. I want to pray for you. Please don't waste our time. We have a lot to do. The Lord is ministering to me. Someone appeared. I'm not saying you were in a dream. This thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please, when you find that person, let the person come quickly. Who is Ola? I'm hearing a name, Ola. Ola. I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola. O-L-A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with... Lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened. Yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physically. Physically. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at this. When was that? Last year, May. She appeared. Face to face and tell me it shall never will be able to. No matter how, whatever you take that you are not feeling fine, the medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes, yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empre ketosu bataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life, I curse those people now. I curse those people now. I curse those people now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Madam, I deliver you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be set free now. In the name of Jesus, the living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people. I'm prophesying, lift your hands. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on such people now. 
in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the Holy Ghost I command a separation now the spirit of Hades I speak to you the spirit of Hades Christ has triumphed over you oh death take away your sting take away your sting hallelujah there are a number of you here I presume you are all Ola including this gentleman on wheelchair that's your son that's your brother what happened to him what happened to him accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we are going to pray for the sick but I want to pray for Ola now just just stand bring for me the person I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now I'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like I'm holding the air but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now I command that destiny open shake it take it take it take it open now open now open now open now in the name of Jesus hallelujah you came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry I'll pray for the sick sir if I'm if I don't talk are you a last sir no don't don't come out until I ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year June yes sir it's God that kept you I will pray for you I've seen your case already if I don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all my body say this is what I'm saying I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you come my dear this lady I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny I hold the hands of this lady and I declare right now in the name of Jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but I'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of Jesus I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life I command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you standing here my, my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do I'm a printer sir. you are what printer, printer. nothing is working in your life I need to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I break this embargo I see upon your hand in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this row I'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what I'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ all right mama I know that it's not time to pray but I want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone Yes, yeah, so one of my uh, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. 
sorrow in my life, in my life must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus. I set you free the deception and the wickedness of evildoers I pray for you now every captivity in our last family whether male or female as I stretch my hands over you I command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now I say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an snake. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord will destroy it. Eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture. And then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 15. Quickly please. 6 to 11. Exodus 15. We're going to do a quick walk. We need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as trouble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind, and the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lost my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout 
wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but a force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive 
I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Go forward. I release you now. Delay broken. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to pray for everybody. But the Lord is saying there are some of you here. The call of God is upon your life. But there are altars fighting you. I'm about to release you. Oh God, I'm seeing 17. 1, 7. Where are they, oh God? Right now, to the back. Where are they? They have the call of God. But an altar of darkness. Tying down their lives. Mata soto pakaria kata. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising. No, even if you are the last born, I decree and declare, let that anointing find you now. Let that anointing find you now. The Joseph anointing, the Joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Overflow three. It's not about falling down. Although there are several things happening here. But I want you to just focus. The last prayer I want to pray for you. Many of you will be surprised what happens to you. Listen. I'm seeing keys. Like a key that was missing. Some of you were once. You were destined for certain things. And the devil veered off your life. And as it is right now. The treasure that God gave you, you have lost it. As I pray for you, that restoration anointing is coming upon you. Some of you is anointings. Some of you is business connections. Lord, where are they? At the count of three. Let that fire come. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive that grace now. Restoration, fire, fire, fire. please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 He's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. 
there are some of you here as i'm looking i'm just seeing chains i want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one two three i command that chain be broken now help them please be broken now to the back shakasko pariata zato kata be broken broken fire is coming i'm seeing fire moving across the crowd in the name of jesus christ i break every force every yoke of darkness hallelujah are you pregnant come i'm seeing an evil spirit let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go by the anointing of the spirit i release the destiny of this baby you will not lose this baby in the name of jesus christ help her this lady, that lady praying in tongues in the name of jesus christ the grace for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabas kata jeketes kalabra katoziata kata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia. enter enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue -ish. who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Amen. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away right now. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in with Victoria again. All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Please, everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension 
I release that grace now. I release that grace now. I stretch my hands. Everything that has held you down, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. My God, look at this. Are you seeing? The legs are rotting completely. In the name of Jesus, be free now. I command be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Go home and write it. Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shaba Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasikete Likata. Jekros Kadabalako Tesiyanabahasiya. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing, I have called you. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My call is upon your life. Stop fighting. My call is upon your life. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. My call is upon your life. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. That's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder. And the Lord is saying, it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed that grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. Ejimi, i'm seeing something for you i'm seeing please stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and i'm seeing dollars a bottle of oil and dollars these two dimensions the spirit and supernatural resources that grace the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly 
there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 i bring you out of the cage that i see you in i bring you out of the cage i bring you out of the cage i see you inside a cage i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus by fire i bring you out i bring you out ancestry will not fight you i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus christ we are soon going to pray for the sick where's where's your wife where is she the lord is saying the powers will fight no more come the powers will fight no more 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 there are ordinances fighting this family i see it in the spirit the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus victory is established the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus and he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there in the name of jesus christ this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ
confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify I don't care whether the resources are there or not I stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing by the Spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of Jesus make it happen cameraman come I want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in Amen. you believe what I'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of Jesus Christ this lady you come the Lord is saying I'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach I lay my hands upon you I'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through I command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, God will grant grace pastor Lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing 
that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subrias. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate pranda kata barakatosh. Eketo kaparoka tapariata ba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate, legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah! 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 Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name, the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the Aaronic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of jesus christ i command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah i release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the bible says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry 
it's not like you don't love God but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your Bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of Jesus Christ I launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the Lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ i don't know what personal request you desire from god but i release my faith with you and i declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of jesus christ anyone here trusting god for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some canal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you 
not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching